Now, as usual, let me summarize all the properties which we have learned only through visuals so that it's going to be very easy for you. So let's begin. So if I start with the, if I start with the circle, the first property, if these two chords are equal, these two angles are equal. Now, converse is if these two angles are equal, these two chords are equal. Now, both these theorems are proved by using the two triangles, these two triangles being congruent. The first one with SSS and the second one with SAS. Very easy. Next, if I drop a perpendicular, then this chord will get bisected. The converse is, if it is getting bisected, this will be a perpendicular from the center. Now, both these uh, theorems are proved by using these two triangles and they being congruent and by using RHS. So, we discussed four of them till now. Now, let's see the next one. If I consider these two chords, equal chords are equidistant from the center. Now, if the converse is, if they are equidistant, then these chords are equal. So, both these theorems are proved by using these two triangles and being congruent. Which rule is used? RHS rule is used. So, we have discussed six theorems by now. We have summarized six theorems. Take this circle. This angle to this angle ratio is 2 by 1. That's an important theorem. Now, when I push these two points, this angle to this angle is still remain 2 by 1. That is angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. Now, if I consider the same segment, angles in the same segment are equal. That is these two angles are equal. Next, we will, uh, the converse is, uh, if a segment is uh, subtending equal angles, the four points, the four points are concyclic. The next one is in a cyclic quadrilateral, sum of opposite angles is 180. And the converse is, if sum of opposite angles is 180, then the quadrilateral is cyclic. So these are very simple theorems and all theorems got summarized in uh, a couple of minutes. That's why once you go through this, once you understand these theorems using visuals, you will find it very easy to use while solving questions. And not just while solving questions, even while proving theorems. So I hope you have a clear understanding of all these circle theorems. Now how all of them are related, is something which we will understand.